Welcome to the Fundamentals of Ultrasound Physics Lecture Series, put together by the Ohio State University Honors Ultrasound Group. The topic for this lecture is Pulse Echo Ultrasound, lecture number three. This lecture will cover the following topics. We'll talk about the range equation and how that applies to ultrasound travel, pulsing characteristics, We'll spend a lot of time on pulse echo instrumentation. We'll end up with pulse echo imaging modes such as A, B, and M modes. And finally, we'll discuss scan speed limitations in ultrasound systems. Pulse echo ultrasound is the basis of much of what we use for medical diagnostic sonography. It enables A, B, C, and M mode scans enables color flow imaging, it enables power Doppler imaging, it enables 3D imaging. When we talk about range equation, we want to talk about time of travel for ultrasound pulses. Here you have a cartoon of the ultrasound transducer on the left side. And on the right hand side, at a certain distance, D, is the reflector, which the ultrasound echoes are determined to detect. The distance D separates the transducer surface from the reflector. Initial ultrasound pulse is given off by the transducer. As it travels deeper into the body tissue, it will eventually reach the reflector surface. At the interface between the tissue and the reflector surface, there will be a reflection and also a transmission. What we're interested in here is the reflected echo going back to the transducer. So if we look at the actual signal that is being detected, we have the initial ultrasound signal shown here uh, as a demodulated echo signal traveling at a certain velocity v towards the reflector. has an initial certain amplitude associated with this pulse, but as it hits the reflector, it will create a reflection that will travel back towards the transducer surface at the same velocity v but at a smaller amplitude. Nonetheless, the transducer will assess the phase and amplitude of the signal and from that it will put together the final image and most importantly the time, the distance that it takes to detect the reflector. The equation that we use, or that the equation that the machine uses, to figure out the time distance of the reflector is t equals 2 times d over v, where d is the distance of the reflector, v is the soft tissue velocity of sound, t is the time of travel. Let's do an example. Assuming that sound pulse travels at 1540 meters per second, calculate the round trip time for the pulse to reach and return from a reflector that is 20 centimeters away from the transducer surface. Let's invoke the equation that we know. Now d is 20 centimeters, v is 1540. We know that the time of travel is 2d over v. So 2 times 20 centimeters in the numerator divided by 1540 meter per second in the denominator. That gives you 260 microseconds once you uh, account for the unit analysis. People have constructed a table to give you some idea as you go from 0.5 centimeters all the way up to 20 centimeters the travel time for the round trip ultrasound pulse ranges from six and a half microseconds all the way up to 260 microseconds for most practical clinical situations. Another equation that's often used is T is 13 microseconds per centimeter depth. This equation is kind of a, a shorthand because it also relates time with velocity and distance. There are many variations that you could look at for this equation. You have T is 2D over V. You can also look at the equation on the left hand side which relates distance and time to the velocity so velocity is 2d over t. And on the right hand side, 
You can also figure out the distance traveled if you know the velocity of the ultrasound pulse as well as the time, the round trip time. Let's do a question to test your knowledge. An incident ultrasound pulse hits a soft tissue reflector. The echo signal returns after 200 microseconds. What is the reflector distance from the transducer? Is the correct answer A, 1.54 centimeters? Is it B, 15.4 centimeters? Is it C, 6.5 centimeters? Or is it D, 0.65 centimeter? You may pause the video to work on your answer. The correct response is B, 15.4 centimeters. Let's look at the reason why. If you using, recall using the equation D is VT over 2, where V is the velocity and T is the time of travel, you use V is 0.154 centimeter per microsecond, and time T is 200 microseconds. Plugging these two numbers into the equation, you would get the distance d is 200 times 0.154 all over by 2, and you arrive at a distance traveled of 15.4 centimeter. Let's do another question. An incident ultrasound pulse hits a soft tissue reflector at 13 centimeters from the transducer surface. Calculate the echo round trip time. Is the answer A, 16.9 microseconds? Is it B, 10 microseconds? Is it C, 169 microseconds? Or is the answer D, 100 microseconds? You may pause the video to work on your answer. The correct response is C, 169 microseconds. Let's use that shortcut equation that we talked about earlier, where T is 13 microseconds per centimeter travel. So basically you multiply 13 microseconds by the distance away from the reflector, which is 13 centimeters. Therefore, the correct answer for total time of travel for echo round trip is 13 times 13, which is 169 microseconds. See how easy this is. Let's do one more question. An incident beam was aimed towards a reflector inside an ultrasound simulator, otherwise known as a phantom, at a distance of one centimeter. The echo was detected after a round trip time of only five microseconds. So the question is, calculate the sound velocity of this body medium. Is the answer A, 0.154 centimeter per microseconds? Is it B, 1400 meters per second? Is it C, 1540 meters per second? Or is the answer D, 4000 meters per second? You may pause the video to work on your response. The correct answer is D, 4,000 meters per second. So right away you know that this is probably bone that we're talking about. Use the equation V equals 2 times D divided by T. You plug in the, the numbers for distance 1 centimeter and the round trip time of 5 microseconds. You get velocity of 0.4 centimeters per microsecond. This translates to 4,000 meters per second. Again, this phantom is most likely simulating sound of travel in a bony medium.